when the rain comes, the quality of that water decreases considerably. It's more turbid and it'll have more, more impurities in it. Okay, so you have the problem in the wet season of lots of water but dirty water, and maybe in the dry you have the problem of no water at all. Okay, so yeah, the issue is clean water, that's right, and you can give people a river, um, but it's not going to serve their needs. Really. One kilometer to go and bring maybe 20 liters of that water. Maybe if you go there, maybe five times, it, is, it may be able to sustain the family for that particular day. Five feet deep. Uh, we are likely to go not less than 150 feet. If we get this water, it will be very important for us. It will, it will help us with the cooking, feeding program for our children and even washing clothes and bathing. is that people would not be carrying water to wash in the hill, they would do the washing right on the stream there. Okay, and then you'll have people lower down the stream collecting that water and taking it for cooking and drinking and everything else in the home. They'll build uh, some uh, some temporary bathroom, they charge people five shillings for bathing and many people come because uh, it's, it is easier and it takes a short time for them to, to take a shower and then go their way. It's an innovation that we didn't anticipate. Uh, you know, we thought 
this will be for drinking and, and washing and washing kitchen utensils and cleaning. But actually, you know, these people are innovative mm. and they can come up with ideas and yes, ways right. of making money for the community. So it's a community owned project. And what we're trying to ensure at the moment is that the funds raised we're from. Fine from the showering facility will then be reinvested in that community and that's what takes more work on our part to make sure that that actually happens. And it was amazing on how they realised the mistakes they've been doing. They've been going there and betting with their own children, you know, like it's like in a valley and everybody who is above can see what is happening. And uh, once the water was drilled, they made an initiative of building a toilet, I mean a bathroom almost, and they made a committee that will oversee. Now the, pro the water problem is now gone. In, in the past, they used to go collect dirty water from down there and on a 20 litre jerry can, carrying it up here and use the same dirty water for cooking because they have no other ways. But since the bridge water project built uh, or, or the well for them, the water problem is now gone once and for all.